for the nationwide manhunt for a South Florida teen who authorities say was a serious threat to other students is over. Sol Pais was found dead in Colorado. And now we know much more about why there was so much concern. Her online posts incredibly disturbing, full of eerie drawings and sinister statements. CBS 4's Riel Creighton is live at her family's home in Surfside with more. Riel, good morning. Good morning, Mary Bell and Francis. Surfside police are back outside the family's home this morning. Yesterday, the city's police chief told us that the family was instrumental in helping to locate their daughter in Colorado and that their grief is overwhelming. Just two days after the FBI began a massive manhunt in Colorado for Miami teen Sol Pais, investigators found the high school student dead Wednesday in Denver. I am sad to have to report that Ms. Sol Pais took her own life. She was found by the Colorado authorities. The FBI said they tracked Pais to a national forest in Colorado where a woman matching her description was spotted running in the area with a weapon. Police there took no chances and searched for her with guns drawn. At this point, it looks as if she was alone, uh, that she uh, took her own life uh, with the weapon that she procured. The FBI says Pais was infatuated with the shooting at Columbine High School and made a credible threat against the schools in the area. She traveled from Miami to Colorado Monday night and purchased a pump-action shotgun and ammunition. School officials in Colorado kept about a half a million students in two dozen schools home on Wednesday. To close an entire metro area is not an easy decision, but at the end of the day, it's the right decision, the best decision to protect all of our kids. Sources telling CBS 4 News when Miami Beach police learned that Pais was a student at Miami Beach High School, they began digging into her social media history and found disturbing things. One post on social media believed to belong to Pais read, be the best killer you can be. In an online journal that appears to belong to Pais are drawings of guns, rifles, and a cage that reads, I can't get out. Her writing showing she was troubled, saying last summer, this life, I can't do it anymore. In the journal, writings that appear to be from Pais, she recently spoke about her struggles and her plans. I'm back to planning and organizing again, so I basically spent the first few hours of my birthday cleaning through my belongings in preparation of my death. Huh, gotta do what you gotta do. It's unclear what her plans were and what she felt she had to do, but investigators say her choices led her to Colorado, where she terrified untold people on the eve of the 20-year mark since the deadly Columbine shootings. As students from her school said they knew Pais, but they also said that she was quiet and withdrawn. Meantime, Miami-Dade County School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho said they did raise the security level at schools, but in, not in response to Pais, only in response to fear of copycat attackers because, because of the Columbine anniversary. Meantime, he also said they did not find any law enforcement or disciplinary measures were taken against Pais. We're live in Surfside this morning. Riel Creighton, CBS4 This Morning.